staff introductions. I'm Steve Kelsey. I've been teaching firearms since 1968 in the military and after the military. Uh, did a couple of funny things for the government. The government did a couple of funny things for me too. <laughs> Such is life. Uh, so Bill Rentiers, he can introduce himself if he hasn't already. Um, in 1968, I wasn't in the first grade yet. So <laughs> I don't have quite the experience that Grandpa, uh, Steve has. Uh, I'm Bill Rentiers. Uh, I've got about eight years of military experience myself. Steve and I have been teaching NRA and CWP classes since 2007. Yeah, uh, and uh, we, we, we just enjoy it. We enjoy teaching. Uh, I spent about five years as a uh, Second Amendment lobbyist for uh, grassroots gun rights, uh, an organization here that uh, we for it fights or for, uh, <laughs> working for your gun rights. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. And uh, it taught me a lot about uh, a confrontational lobbyist uh, role uh, and uh, how, to, how to get things through the state house uh, using pressure, uh, which is a whole lot of fun. I, I really enjoy it. This is my daughter, Destiny. Destiny is also uh, an NRA pistol instructor. We will be catering lunch for you today. Uh, you, if you wish to go out for lunch, I guess you could. But we will probably start up with the class again when people are finished eating. So if you're not back in time, sorry. And lunch today is also provided by your, your generous benefactor, Dee Waters. She spent all the last time at the stove. <laughs> <laughs> Short, please. Guys, I'm not going to make this into a political event today. This is about getting your concealed weapons permit. So I just. The shoe's not going to drop. You're not going to hear some big political speech from me. I am here. Um, I am willing to answer any questions if you have any questions for me. I grew up around guns of the hunting variety um, and still have several, but have never personally gotten a concealed weapons permit, even though I'm a huge believer in the Second Amendment. It was just hunting guns for us. I went duck hunting with Daddy. I went deer hunting with Daddy. I just never carried a pistol. So here I am today right along with you. So I'm going to be a class participant. This is the only spill you will hear from me. I hope you will see my dedication to making sure we have more people in our state and in our counties here. I represent four counties, Aiken, Lexington, or I, I hope to, Aiken County, Lexington, and Saluda. Um, Aiken County, let's see, Aiken, Lexington, Saluda, and Calhoun. Thank you. Um, but anyway, I also wanted to uh, give my son a pass here. My 12-year-old really wanted to come, and last night he was at a church lock-in for fifth and sixth graders, and I don't think he slept at all, at all. In fact, I think he existed on mellow yellow from what he tells me until I picked him up. So he's about to pass out. I have told him to put his head down. He is under the age of 18. He can't have a... Uh, can't have a license or a permit anyway, but I think he was really interested mostly in getting to go to the range tomorrow. So anyway, I normally don't give my son a pass to sleep through class. That is my parental disclaimer for the day. At least it was because he was in church last night. Then he's sleeping in class today. So anyway, thank you all for coming. Enjoy the class. And from here on out, unless you have questions for me, I'm shutting up, which is something I never get to do. So anyway, I'm going to sit down and shut up. Thank you. Uh, the next module we're going to do is handgun basics. I don't know, Mike. Okay, handgun basics. Uh, there's a number of things that we're going to go over here. The same number. Click on the presentation first. Click on the next. Oh, that. Objectives, section three. We're going to identify the principal parts of a pistol, a handgun, and the types of actions, demonstrate how they function. Okay? This is, uh, we'll, we'll go through this fairly quickly. Is anybody not familiar with handguns at all? Okay? Uh, we're going to identify the differences between a revolver and a semi-auto pistol. Okay, let's review the very important four safety rules for firearms. One. Treat all firearms until they're loaded. Two, always point the muzzle in a safe direction. Three, keep your finger outside the trigger guard, off the trigger, until you are pointed at your target and you're ready to fire. Very important. 
be sure to target what's beyond it. Now, we're going to stress these same safety rules over and over again throughout the day because these are very important. Now, does anybody remember the other rule that we talked about? Target. Oh. Don't shoot anyone wearing a red shirt. Well, the law as written in South Carolina is that if somebody uses force to enter your house, then you're free to use deadly force. And what, what the law says is not that you can shoot them dead without cause, but that the Im immediate assumptions the police or law enforcement agencies make when they arrive on the scene is that you were correct in your assumption that your life was in danger. Deadly force can only be used as a last resort when all other methods have been. Is everybody ready to take this step? Yeah. Again, here, here is a suggestion comments. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Before I pass out the test, I want to uh, go over the schedule for tomorrow. Stand by. The holy hand ring. So now I can tell you that I'm proud I scored a 92. Yeah. Looking forward to having both a shotgun and a handgun in my possession. By, by hand. Although I guess I can't ride around, around the shotgun, yeah. so which is unfortunate. I, uh, what happened when we used to have gun racks in the back of cars? Didn't you ask me that yesterday? I used to have a gun rack in my uh, back window of my pickup truck years back. Nope, sure can't.